Too bad about radio. Oh, what do you mean? Well, since television, you know. Hardly anybody listens to radio anymore. Oh, I wouldn't worry about that if I were you. There's a radio in use for every man, woman, and teenager in America. Really? Gee, I'd hate to think of them all turning them on at once. They do. Every morning. Who listens to radio? That go where you go medium called radio. That's with you every night through the long commuter fight. And in the morning with the old toast and mumble lady o Who listens to radio? No matter if it's summer, winter, spring or fall. Who listens to radio? Only 150 million people. The way I understand it, uh, this person came into your home and stole all of your radios. Every and... radio I had to my name. Mm -hmm. Including transistors? Yes. And... Well, he left me one earplug. I'll say that for him. Mm -hmm. Well, did he take anything else? Just uh... the radios and a couple of pieces of fruit. I see. Well, what... A uh... banana and two Kadota figs. Mm -hmm. I well... don't deny him the fruit. No. Are you and your husband going to replace the radios? Well, and... we'll have to. Arthur is late for work because he has no radio to keep reminding him of the time and traffic conditions. Mm -hmm. I have nothing to keep me company while I work around the house. I can imagine. We yeah. have a ten-room house. We had a radio in every room. Uh, then he stole all ten radios. Eleven. Eleven. He also stole the car. Who listens to radio? Only 150 million people. How did it happen again? Well, I was driving down the freeway on my way to work watching this old Betty Grable movie. Watching and, uh, an old Betty Grable movie? Yeah, on a little portable TV. I had it sitting up there in the dashboard. I know. All but of a you sudden, this commercial comes on. The guy in a white coat says, Now watch this amazing demonstration. And? I watched. Next thing I knew, pow! Look, you can't watch television commercials while you commute. I found that out. You too. can't read a newspaper. No. The only thing you could do while you're driving is listen to the radio. Yeah, well, that's all I intend to do, boy, just as soon as I get out of traction. Who listens to radio? No matter if it's summer, winter, spring, or fall. Who listens to radio? Only 150 million people. Radio? Why should I advertise on radio? There's nothing to look at, no pictures. Listen, you can do things on radio you couldn't possibly do on TV. That'll be the day. All right, watch this. <clears throat> okay, people, and now when I give you the cue, I want the 700-foot mountain of whipped cream to roll into Lake Michigan, which has been drained and filled with hot chocolate. Then the Royal Canadian Air Force will fly overhead towing a 10-ton maraschino cherry, which will be dropped into the whipped cream for the cheering of 25,000 extras. All right, cue them out. Cue the Air Force. Cue the maraschino cherry. Okay, 25,000 cheering extras. Now, you want to try that on television? Well... You see, radio is a very special medium because it stretches the imagination. Doesn't television stretch the imagination? Up to 21 inches, yes. Newspapers are just as good an advertising medium as radio. Sure, driving home at night, you can enjoy your newspaper as it lies there on the seat. And there's another good thing about newspapers. You can read them while you're rushing to get ready for work in the morning, right? Who listens to radio? Go where you go, medium called radio. That's with you every night through the long commuter fight. And in the morning with your toast and mama lady o Who listens to radio? No matter if it's summer, winter, spring or fall. Radio.
radio That go where you go medium called radio That's with you every night Through the long commuter fight And in the morning with your toast and mama lady oh Who listens to radio No matter if it's summer, winter, spring or fall 